February, the month of love, Mardi Gras, and of course, African American history. I have two great literary works that are sure to get you traveling through the diaspora. The first is Hidden Figures, the story of the African American women who helped win the space race by Margot Lee Shetterly. The book features several African American female mathematicians, namely Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, Dorothy Vaughn, Katherine Pedrew, Sue Wilder, Eunice Smith and Barbara Holly. These ladies worked at NASA and were instrumental to the success of the United States struggling space program. Up until now, no one had ever heard of these ladies and that makes this story just that more appealing. These mathematicians and scientists were often referred to as colored computers, provided NASA with the raw computing power they needed to safely launch John Glenn and his fellow astronauts into space. The story intersects several turning plots in United States history, including the Cold War, the space race, the civil rights movement, and the ever-evolving quest for gender equality. Shetterly's father, a NASA scientist stationed at Langley, noted that after World War II, there was a dearth of males available. Available. So women were hired to take over these positions. While they dealt with racism and Jim Crow laws in Virginia, these women were so valued that Glenn refused to launch until they had signed off on the calculations. You can catch the film adaptation of Hidden Figures playing at a theater near you. It stars the simply delightful Janelle Monet, Octavia Spencer, and Miss Taraji P. Henson. Another great work to read and watch is Fences by August Wilson. Set in the 1950s, Fences is the sixth play in Wilson's 10-part Pittsburgh cycle. Fences explores the ever-evolving African-American experience by examining race relations, familial ties, working class families, and a host of other themes. It has won numerous accolades, including Pulitzer Prizes and Tony Awards. The play centers around patriarch Troy Maxson, a 53-year-old man struggling to provide for his family. Maxson once dreamed of becoming a professional baseball player, but due to terrible decisions, was deemed ineligible by the the time the major leagues began admitting African-American athletes. Bitter over that missed opportunity and several others, Troy begins and leads a series of families and creates tension and turmoil all along the way. Like most families, everyone has personal demons that they suppress or they conceal in hopes of retaining some sense of normalcy. The play in the film adaptation starring powerhouses Viola Davis and Denzel Washington sheds lights on various themes such as family dynamics, personal truths, and the power of forgiveness. Both of these great works get five stars. Read and watch, and that's how the page turns. Thanks, Tamika. I've already finished reading Life on the Mississippi, and I've started a good biography called Chasing the Last Laugh. 